Hello there, this is Gabe Gossett with the Hacker Research and Writing Studio in Western Libraries. And today I'm going to be presenting this video that gives you an overview of what Zotero is and why should you be interested in Zotero in the first place. And at starting out, it's a tool that allows you to collect and organize sources. And then this is the part that most people really like about it. It allows you to export formatted citations because a lot of uh, citations are a form of technical information that are able to be formatted automatically using this uh, type of software. And then it also allows you to connect content between multiple devices. So the content that you collect on one computer, you're going to be able to get it synchronized to other computers. And that in turn allows you to collaborate with others using Zotero at the same time as well. So what is Zotero? It's something that comes from the Roy Rosenzweig Center for History and New Media, and that's something that's supported by George Mason University and the National Endowment for the Humanities. And so uh, one of the things about Zotero that is worth keeping in mind is that it is grounded in academia, and it's a tool that's developed for academics by other academics as well. And so the software that's been developed, it works with your browser so it has an add-on to your browser that allows you to do that collecting process where you start to bring in the content and then it lets you to build basically a personal database of sources that are going to be yours to keep uh, down the road. So you get those journal articles, those books, those videos, and uh, even online web pages, and you can collect and build them into a database that makes sense to you and is organized in a way that works for you.